Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And yesterday I made a poll on my Twitter asking what kind of video you guys would like to see today. Um, and the Valentine's Day themed video won. Uh, if you weren't able to take part in that poll, um, you can do so in the future by uh, following my Twitter because that's generally where I do these kind of things. So anyhow, I'm going to teach you guys how to make these sort of um, simple, iconic Valentine's Day cards that have become very popular on the internet. Um, so basically I'm just selecting a rectangle shape and putting in a simple colored background as you can see um, here. Um, and I'm going to, for my first card, use a fictional character that I really like. Um, so I have Hanzo. Um, I just think, I'm, yes, he's kind of evil, but he's, he's very handsome, so, you know. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I'm just taking <laughs> I'm taking a picture of him from Google, and um, I'm picking one with a white white background because that's the easiest sort of background to get out usually. So I'm just taking the magic wand tool and deleting all the white, and I unchecked the word contiguous up at the top, um, which means it'll select all the white in one click. Um, then I'm just resizing with transform uh, until I have the right amount of him on the card. Um, after that, I turn the layer off and select the white space around the card, and then I can just easily delete um, the parts of Hanzo that were not fitting on the card. Uh, so after this you have to think of the most important part, which is the pun. There's usually a horrible, terrible, really silly pun on these types of cards, so the, the worse the better. Um, just try to incorporate the concept of Valentine's Day and also the character that you're using. And I struggle with this for a little while, so uh, meanwhile, how, how are you guys doing? Do you have any exciting Valentine's Day plans? Um, this is a this is a little known fact about me, but uh, Valentine's Day is actually also um, the anniversary of my relationship, because five years ago, um, my current boyfriend and high school sweetheart asked me out on Valentine's Day. So, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we will be in different countries at the time, so that's kind of a bummer. But I'm thinking of maybe doing uh, my first live stream around Valentine's Day, so that. Um, maybe those of you who are also going to be alone on Valentine's Day might want to hang out. Um, so let me know if that's something you guys would be interesting or if you guys are um, interested in or if you guys uh, have a bunch of dates uh, and can't make it around Valentine's Day, then I totally understand and I'll do it at another time. So, yeah. Um, here's the, the joke I end up going with. Do you guys go out with me? So that's a, that's a joke off his, like, um... His ultimate thing that he says is like you go I got the go to corral or some 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 I I swear I, I used to know Japanese but not anymore it's like something about the dragon yeah um but yeah this is the one this is the one I go go with um and I feel like the emoji uh, cheapens it even more so that that only serves to make the make the whole card a little bit better. Um, then you just have to add a to and from, and it's ready to use. Um, obviously you don't want the text overlapping with your character, so just scooch it over. And uh, that card is basically done. There's a few other little decorations and details you can do though. Um, so I put like little hearts around him, because he's kind of, he's not looking like he's in the spirit of things yet. We have to do a little bit of edits, um, so that it's more clear that this is a smolder of love and not you know, revenge or hatred or something. Uh, you know what else helps with that is a little bit of blush. Um, so I just make a layer on top and give him a little bit of a little bit of a blush, um, and suddenly he looks way more in the spirit of things. So that's good. Um, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of anime blush never hurt anybody. Um, and our card slash masterpiece is complete. So next I'm going to do a card um, using my own art, which of course you guys can do too, and um, this one has a harder background to remove. So, um, Oh, and uh, check the description if you want to link to any of these cards I'm going to be making, um, including this one, if you want to use it. Um, it'll be in the description, so yeah. Okay, so this one has an increased challenge level because it doesn't have a white background. So we're, the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, get rid of everything that's in the background that's sort of distracting. 
Um, so the way I usually would do this is I take the lasso tool and sort of roughly cut her out of the background. Um, so basically I'm just uh, using my tablet to select these areas. If you don't have a tablet and you're trying to do this with a mouse, I would suggest doing it with the um, the other type of lasso tool. The what's it called? It, it it does it by line. So like every time you click, it forms a straight line. That does take longer, but it's more precise if you don't have a tablet to work with. Um, and then I'm just sort of cleaning up the edges with the eraser um, anywhere I see that you know it didn't quite get uh, selected the first time. I'm going to put a little smile on her face so that um, it fits a Valentine's Day card a little more. Um, and this is uh, my character from my comic Unfamiliar. There's also a link to that if you would like to read that. You can read it for free on Tapastic. Um, so that's great. Uh, and um, once you put the color underneath um, your character, you might find a lot more areas that you need to clean up. So naturally, I had a lot more work to do. Um, so yeah, just very carefully sort of removing all these little areas that didn't quite get removed the first time. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because again, these, these Valentine's Day cards are kind of uh, <laughs> just for fun. Um, but you know, if you really want Senpai to notice you, you gotta be pretty precise because um, you know, uh, you, gotta, you gotta make him, him or her know that you're, you're serious. You're serious about this, uh, this crush. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make a little speech bubble, um, which will give me a place to give my little Valentine's Day greeting and a to and from again. Um, so this one I'm playing more straight. There's not as much of a joke. It's just sort of a pretty standard Valentine's Day card that you can use if you, if you know someone um, who likes my comic or if you just think it's cute looking, uh, you can totally use this one as well. Um, and, of course, they're easy to print out and cut out if you would like. Um, but of course it's easier just to put on someone's Facebook or whatever, <laughs> so uh, totally up to you. Um, I know a lot of people either don't like Valentine's Day or, you know, are just kind of bored by it, but I've always found, even when I was single, like, there's something kind of fun about it. I, I just like heart motifs and chocolate, so I've never been, I've never been grumpy about it, but <laughs> if, if this is a tough time of year for you, I hope that you, um, take care of yourself and you're not too bummed out about it because honestly like uh, I feel like relationships will come for you when it's it's your time and any time before that you can just focus on loving yourself I know that's really cliche but it really is true like um, it's there's there's really no reason to feel sad because you have your own self and you can totally pamper yourself and buy yourself chocolates and you know take a bubble bath or whatever you like to do you can play Overwatch, <laughs> and yeah, whatever whatever floats your boat. Uh, just do that on Valentine's Day if you don't have a date, um, because why not? So we're reaching the end of this little uh, video. I know this isn't kind of like most of my videos. I, there's not a lot of drawing. It's mostly just uh, messing around in Photoshop. Um, but I hope you guys liked it anyway. Um, and uh, like I said before, uh, definitely follow my Twitter if you want to have a say in uh, what I'll be doing next week because I'll probably do a poll again um, because there are a couple different video ideas I've been sort of uh, deciding between. So um, Creepy Drasta is definitely coming up. I just have to decide when. Um, uh, I want to do sort of an art school story time kind of thing uh, with, of course, a speed paint underneath. and. Yeah, um, so yeah, if you like the cards, uh, just pop into the description, you'll be able to find them and you can send them to whoever you like. Um, and I hope this helps you make your own cards so that you can get Senpai to notice you um, with uh, hilarious, poorly photoshopped Valentine's Day cards. And I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. A big thank you to my patrons. A reminder, if you pick the $10 or more tier, um, you can have me personally thank you at the end of my videos uh, with whatever name you would like. So in that vein, uh, thank you to Le Ble Ble Ble, Den, Brock, Juan Alvarez, Chartype, Adrian Delport, Adrian Morales, at Lib Likes to Draw, Paynamel, Kate Meekins, Caitlin Foss, and Muffins McGee. Thank you guys so much.